don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rock it like that. Slide like it's so nice and about to skate. Tell the driver drop me off. I'm at the crib more. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Anderson. Where are we headed? Sounds good, we'll be there soon. I got two babies here to live for. Yeah, yeah, though I walk through these dark places. I fear no evil, but my heart's racing. Stepping over dead bodies and shit heartbreaking. Got angels watching me from all angles. So the homies that ain't make it hope you here right now. No, you ain't here right now. So many lost souls, but I wanna drop a tear right now. Mm. This ain't where I wanna be in life. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. UndraftedShop.com for the cap I got on. RightScanClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. I know, I know, I know. What is Calico up to now? See, the thing about Calico is, and I respect what he does as far as like with his business, his music, his, uh, his brand, is that he says the things at times in battles or in his, uh, you know, blogs and videos that people be, you know, might be scared to or don't like to ruffle feathers and shit like that. But he's going at battle rappers again. Going at, he puts out a, he's put out a snippet for a joint that he's doing called Heavy Press. My it's a tragedy, it's just another casualty when niggas try to battle me. Why you always dick suck and holler? He don't even fuck with you. Hey, Rock, give me gay vibes, I'm uncomfortable. The crackers got a hand with some cheese, it's a lunch. Bro. Heavy Press! You bragging on strings when I'm published. My New Jersey bitch fuck me on a Gucci confidence. She getting money, she won't even let me buy her furniture. Fuck the bitch to sleep, smack her ass when I'm done with her. Got the nigga out of jail, look how you repay me. All the boy talk about his views, think he going crazy I would never sell my masters for no fame or no clout I got a route, how you keep getting shot, stay in the house You was much safer on Joe Button couch, nigga He said it ain't Johnny Dang like I give a fuck uh, with the hood Mind you, he just shook up the battle rap world with WWF. No, oh, I don't got no problems with no motherfucking battle rappers. Not no real problems. And the funny thing was, at the beginning of that track, he said they're not gonna like it. They're gonna say it's gonna be whack. But I'll tell you what, the thing that Calico does and has been able to do for a while with his music is the anthems that he creates. You know, I bet it all on a ten or four. Uh, am I wrong? If I, you already know, I don't even have to say. The rest, he had the anthem rocking over a summer or so ago. So, he's, he did a snippet for a joint called Heavy Press where he's continuing to take shots at Tay Rock, continuing to take shots at Sue Sir. And this is just the way it's going to be um, until he gets, you know, maybe some of the battles he wants or gets them to respond. I seen him and Surf going back and forth the other day about uh, the views, the views, the views. This shit is it's crazy how these views work because Sue Surf was basically saying, Calico don't be doing no, no classics. He don't really got a lot of million view joints, even though Calico does have million view battles. Uh, he was big. But, 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 before we even go into that, views don't really matter no more. Unless, you know, blogging and things, those views matter because it kind of sets the precedent because you'll have um, bloggers that do huge views. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed to be one. That do good numbers and then there's bloggers who do really, really, really low numbers. No shot at nobody in particular. I'm just saying that can kind of gauge people as to where they put this person or put that person because if you have a channel like, okay, so this channel, I think I'm at uh, like 32 million views, right? And which is a good thing. Um, and then you have another channel where, you know, it's still building and growing when you try to compare or compete or people like, or they'll try to say shit about you or this you, it's like, dog, I got this many views, I got this many subscribers. The day I talk about somebody who's not even in a comparable zone, it's not gonna happen. For me, it just don't work that way. But, uh, and then 
you know how to set your prices as far as uh, with promotion or people wanting to put their videos in your video and things like that when you can garner a certain amount of views back it's like yo if I can tell a company I can guarantee 10,000 or 20,000 views on whatever video I can guarantee 50,000 they have to pay you a certain premium based off of what you're worth but that's just a whole nother story so um Calico was uh, going hard on um, surf as far as with the views on the freestyle saying that he bought them. I don't think he bought them because those views, if you remember from that bars on I-95 freestyle, were gradually growing. Like he had like 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, a million, 1.5, 2 million, 2.3. Like they went up over time. When, when people buy views, their channel will have like 300,000 views and like six comments and then like, you know what I'm saying? Like none of the other videos have comparable views. That kind of is sketch. And then YouTube sometimes when they notice that the views are purchased, they'll take the video down. Like they'll take, they'll, they'll you can't get credit for buying views. But anyway, um, so Geechee Gotti responds to Calico after Calico uh, puts out this uh, thing this, this this heavy press tweet, song, snippet, clip, whatever you want to call it. It says, Calico, you looking for all smoke all over the world when there's only one match that matter right now is here. Stop playing and let's have that talk. Calico responds, you got my number. You know this got classic written all over it. We can pull up to a private location and shoot it on an iPhone. It's going to be classic. Give me a date and I'm pulling up. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need no league. We don't need no big production. We don't need none of that. Just give me a date and I'm pulling up. You know, it's going to be bread involved, too. You know, you got to have that, got to have that bread, right? That, that ch -ch -ch ching. But a Calico versus a Gichi Gotti is like the the west meets the midwest and you have like when two heads collide when two unstoppable forces you know <laughs> on the url you know they they i think url would probably um want that battle because uh calico gonna get what he want but uh the heavy press man like he doubled down after wwf because when wwf dropped uh, there were certain people who responded and there were other people who just kind of took the high road like oh I don't care about that song like I ain't responding to that shit that's cool but you gotta know that battle rap is as a culture they're gonna continue to watch they're gonna continue to eat at they're gonna continue to listen to this track which is why it gained so 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 many views look at easy to block captain's top tier that's a record that dropped and it has over 100,000 views, and people are still spending that. He's got that joint. Like, there's other people on the way. Uh, Loso is about to jump on that joint. Uh, who else is on there? Loso's on there. Uh, uh, freaking Av, I heard a snippet from. B Dot is on there. They say your stages to the top 10, top 10. Oh, they forgot how they got it, got it. Why they talking like we not here, not here? Like, we've been pushing. Loso's on, yo, it's gonna get crazy. It, it, it's, it's about to get, it's about to get real crazy. Um, but the promotion, like I said, when you promote yourself at a premium, when you're, cause. A lot of people, the problem is they're waiting for leagues. They're waiting for, waiting. I don't know why these niggas is waiting. It's like, dog, just promote yourself. There's a whole free world out there. You got YouTube. You got Instagram. You got Twitter. You got Facebook. You got all these different platforms where you can promote yourself. And niggas be sitting around waiting. That's why you see some artists going like this and other artists going like this. There are people who've been on URL. I'm sure y'all know a bunch of them that been around for three, four, five years and don't have Easy to Black Captain's buzz when Easy to Black Captain is only two events and three rounds hot right now. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't even been here long, but he's playing the game the way it needs to be played. That's the thing. Everybody's gonna get their turn. 
but are you gonna or are you gonna make it burn? You gotta you gotta work, and then you know you gotta have the talent with it. But um, back to Calico, uh, you know he was tweeting earlier saying that he wants to give the battle rap culture something special today. So he's probably gonna drop another record. Who knows? Maybe WWF Part Two. Cause the thing about it is he's gonna continue to go. He will continue to go there. If nobody ain't, if you ain't gonna do nothing, or if you're not gonna say that, then he gonna keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? He gonna keep on going, and that's just the way it's gonna be. But, uh, you know, we'll definitely keep our eyes on it. Caligo versus Geechee Gotti is a battle that I definitely would like to see um, if it's booked, or even if it's done in the streets, or whatever the case may be. But other than that, I'm gone. Gang, gang, gang. It's a tragedy, it's just another casualty when niggas try to battle me. Why you always dick suck and holler? He don't even fuck with you. Hey, Rock, give me gay vibes, I'm uncomfortable. The crackers got a ham with some cheese, it's a lunch. Bro. Heavy bread. You bragging on strings when I'm published. My New Jersey bitch fucked me on a Gucci confidence. She gave money, she won't even let me buy a furniture. Fuck the bitch to sleep, smack her ass when I'm done with her. Got the nigga out of jail, look how he repay me. All the boy talk about his views, think he going crazy. I would never sell my masters for no fame or no clout. I got a route. How you keep getting shot? Stay in the house. You was much safer on Joe Button couch, nigga. Keep screaming Johnny Dang like I give a fuck. I'm he said, I love screaming Johnny Dang like I give a fuck. Uh, with the hood, the hate thing, including the bus. So uh, I got the AP hook from Mike, uh, honey rakes, red right round. I slide like it's some nice and about to skate. Tell the driver drop me off. I'm at the crib more. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Anderson. Where are we headed? Sounds good. We'll be there soon. I got two babies here to live for. Yeah, yeah, though I walk through these dark places. I fear no evil, but my heart's racing. Stepping over dead bodies and shit heartbreaking. Got angels watching me from all angles. So the homies that ain't make it hope you here right now. No, you ain't here right now. So many lost souls, but I wanna drop a tear right now. Mm. This ain't where I wanna be in life.